The ongoing saga of the truck. <clears throat> so I got the starter out. Bench tested it, it works fine. I don't know if you haven't watched the last video, go back. Um, I'm not sure what number it is, but it'll be one number lower than this one. And uh, I went underneath, I pulled it out, completely covered in crap. And uh, somebody suggested maybe the contacts were bad because it was clicking in. So I know it was getting power here. I should clean that one too, I forgot. Huh. I did these two and I forgot to clean that one. Anyway, I hit it here with 12 volts and it spun. I hit it here with 12 volts and it clicked and threw the, uh, just threw the gear out. So I thought it was working. Then I thought, well, maybe, because <clears throat> it gets power here, and then this triggers it. So maybe the solenoid was bad. So I went and I, uh, I put the power back on here, and I jumped it, and it threw out and spun like it's supposed to. It spun strong. I, I put this in about 10 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And it's only got 3,000 miles on it. So, <clears throat> half inch on here, I think this was 15 millimeter, and a healthy, healthy dose of that, so I'm thinking maybe, I, it was, there was a lot of corrosion on here, and I wire brushed everything and cleaned it up, it doesn't look like it now, but I, uh, I shined them up pretty good before I put the, the no locks on it, so I'm thinking maybe from sitting, because it's, sat for most of the last eight years maybe from sitting yeah corrosion got in there i'll tell you they weren't lying when they said that bolt was a bitch and for some reason i had 13 millimeters here where's the other one no whatever there's, there's three of them i had two 13s and one 14 wrench to get that off which of course i got stuck between the frame or the engine or whatever is up here. And when the bolt backed out, it bound the wrench up. So I needed two sets of wrenches to get it out. But I'm going to throw it back in. I might actually put a coat of paint back on that. Most of it came off when I cleaned it. Uh, I'm going to throw it back in and see what happens. I was starting to freak out because I thought maybe the engine was seized. But... Uh, I was able to turn it over with a pry bar, so luckily it's not seized. I'm thinking maybe it just wasn't jumping. Maybe this wasn't getting power, and this alone triggered it. So it was just going click, 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 and uh, not making good contact there. I'm going to clean the wire under the truck as well before I put them back on. Yep, adventures. So hopefully the next video will be of the truck actually starting. It hasn't started in a year. So I'm, t I'm told it hasn't started in a year. I'm anxious. I'm anxious to get it going again. So that I can ship it out for the transmission rebuild. Never. Ever quiet here. Never. There's the other boat down there. Still slow. Yeah, the, the two on the bottom are easy to get. They were 13s, and then this one was a bugger to get to, and it was a different size. I'll have to see if I've got some bolts to uh, put the proper size heads back in there. That's it. I almost bought a new starter today. 200 bucks. Hopefully I saved myself some money. If I didn't, I just made my problem worse because now I've got to put it back in. And if it doesn't work, I've got to take it out again and put another one back in. But if it works, that'll be the end of the starter saga. So keep watching. We'll get there. <laughs>